Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Cap Blockhead, and we are back with a brand new video. Today, we are going to be playing, well, I'm going to be reviewing the Immersive Railroading mod. So, we're going to be doing uh, two steam trains, other than that one, and two more modern trains. Um, this one should be ready for me to show you how it works. So, if I go forward, it is a bit loud. Let me hang on. But yeah. So you could build some really nice like cities and stuff like that with this. Oh, wrong one. Um But yeah. So, that's that train. Um, so yeah, we're going to be starting with the K4 Pacific, which is my favorite steam train that is in this mod. Uh, as you would probably guess, you need coal and water for it to run, because you don't want the boilers to overheat, so that's why you need the water. Also, you need it to produce the steam, because this is a steam uh, engine. Uh, that should be enough water, actually. There we go. That should be enough water for now. Uh, now let's fill it up with coal. The more coal that I put in there, the uh, faster it'll heat up. Uh, let's put all this in here. Let's grab some more water and put down the big boy. As it's called. Um, they're really detailed, you can tell from there. Um, and you can also tell from the outside. I really like this mod. Um, so, yeah. I'm also a big fan of trains, so. Since I was little, I've been a big fan of trains. But yeah, so this is a big boy. Obviously, it's big, it's in its name. Um, so this one should be ready first. Um, once that reaches 100 degrees Celsius, it'll, the PSI will go up, which is the steam. Um, now if I want to... I want to... Uh, all this. I want to get a whole bunch of water in here. Because this... this these uh, boilers are huge. As you can see, it needs a lot of water. It doesn't actually need a lot of water, I just want to put as much water as possible. So that'll be enough water. Now let's fill it up with coal. I actually don't know if this will be, this one's going to be the first one, the one to heat up first. So yeah, those trains are good. Those trains are getting ready. Now, uh, now let's put down Let's go with the EMD SD40-2. Um, place that down. It, as you can see, once again, it's really detailed. Really detailed. Um, the inside is really detailed, unlike the big boy. Um, but yeah, so instead of water, let's just plop that down there. Instead of water, what you need is you know, miscellaneous. You also need the uh, immersive engineering mod for this to work. So go grab that. Um, it'll also be in the description. But you need to scroll down and get ethanol. So grab that and just fill your inventory with it. So ethanol is a form of gas, if you didn't know that. And uh, you just fill the the uh, the train up with it, and it should once it's heated up, heat it up, it should be able to drive. Uh, 
it, this thing takes up a lot of gas and stuff. Let's just fill it up till we reach. There we go. Now I forget how to start the diesels, so let's figure that out. Uh, add. Uh, let's change that. Wait, no, that's not no reset. Let's change that. There we go. So that'll also start up. And the last one train that we have that we're going to be reviewing is this one. Rain, I don't want you. Uh, but yeah, this one should be ready. As you can see, it's actually, I don't think it's going to be ready yet. Yeah, it's not going to be ready yet. The steam's still going up. That one's not ready. But yeah, so this one, it's the same as this one. Uh, also really detailed. Actually, you know what? Shift, oh, shift your left, left click to remove these. Like, to break them. We're going to go with the... We're going to go with... This one, the GB40-8W. So, place that down. Also known as the Santa Fe. You can't see that on there. <laughs> yeah, but uh, once you have that down, again, really detailed. Fill up your inventory with buckets of ethanol. And just start shoving it in the uh, gas tank. And it's done. This one's full. But now let's... There we go, so that's starting. So, all the trains are starting now. That one's already started. But uh, let's go into here and start driving it. So uh, number pad 8 is to go forward. As you can see, that, these are the default uh, controls. Uh, number pad 5 is to go back to the middle. And number pad 2 is to stop and like is to put it all the way down to slope to go backwards. As you guys can also see. Then number pad 7 is put the brakes up. Then five, uh, four, number pad 4 is to replace it. And then number pad 1 is to also, is to also slowly bring it back down. So let's just go full throttle. So yeah, it's a really nice mod if you're trying to like... If you're like trying to make a nice little city... Oh, whoops. I click the Windows button, more like the Start button. Um, it's a really nice mod if you're trying to like make a city and you want trains in it. Um, then you also have this guy, the big boy. It should be ready. Yep. And if I, I think you can also zoom out. But I don't, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, that may be the immersive, uh, what's it called? Okay, yeah, nothing, uh, that, what I was thinking was just the immersive vehicles mod. But you can, uh, this train also works really well. We can, we can run on top of it, as you can see. Alright, let's uh, stop it now. So that stopped. Uh, so, yeah, you can 
do most, so many things with this. I'll get to the tracks in a moment. For now, let's bring this train back. Sheep, unless you want to die, I would live. Alright. So that's back there. We're going to add one car to this one. Um, because I'm going to show off one car to this. Which is the... I'm going to go with this one because it looks like it's from Harry Potter. Um, if you... If you want to connect freight cars or passenger cars, as this one here, yeah, you can tell what I mean by this looks like it's from Harry Potter now. You can also go from car to car, you can walk around in the car, normal A, WS, A, W, A, S, D, um, and you can walk around from car to car, which I'm going to demonstrate in a moment. I'm going to grab some more tracks. Alright, so let's add another one, and another one. So once these things are connected, these two are connected already, the, once all the track, all the uh, things are connected, um, so that'll slowly So, I'm just going to quickly run, let's go 500, and go to the front of this one. Once those are, um, once I show you the, once I show you this, I'm going to go back and that thing. You can also edit the tracks, rail bed, I have a rail bed, gravel, I'm going to go with air for now. Uh, rail bed fill, so like that's if you want a bridge. Position fix, I don't know what that does. Direction flexible gauge standard. Type straight, you can do uh, crossing, slope, turn, switch, turn table, custom curve, and again straight. Then track style default, uh, concrete ties, uh, rails only, default. Those are the only ones. Um, direction, uh, 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 um, gauge, narrow, it's Minecraft, model, Grinnell, which is a huge train, and standard. But uh, once again, I want standard. I shouldn't have said that, but okay. Um, uh, unlike some other mods, they don't disappear for, like, if you go far away, they disappear when the normal thing disappears. So we're going to start heading forward. We can do that. Crap! I did not mean to do that. We can. I'm going to slow down a bit. But uh, yeah, we can go forward. We can walk through the cars as we, as the train drives drives around. But we should probably get back to the train before it goes off the rails, which it's coming up on doing. I think. So that's that. It was kind of coming up on doing it. Uh, I don't know how to use the whistle. I can't remember how. The tracks do disappear, though, the farther you get away from them, which is kind of annoying. Um, but let's quickly run back. How much water do you have? Oh, we're draining water off the fast, but okay. 
will be fine. This train can go awfully fast as you guys can see. Yeah. As you guys can kind of see, I yeah I stopped. I tried to stop too late. But yeah. Um. Next, I'm gonna be showing you the uh, freight trains. We're gonna go with these. Put that right there. Uh, same controls for the rest of them. Um, they just have different noises, and you can go in different areas. So let's start going. So yeah, as you can see, yeah, there's the other train. Now we can head back. Actually, wait, we, I want to add something here, which is 500 more things blocks of track all right so now we can head back we have plenty of track so there's no need to worry about that Alright, so now, if you go, oh, rocket, uh, immersive, uh, immersive rail roading stock, um, ro okay, immersive rail roading stock, there we go, um, you can have caboose, but for now, let's go with a, uh, yeah, stock car, a box car, oh that's near, that's not good, um, a gondola, a flat car, a hopper, um, And a tanker car. So let's place down this. And then we'll place down this. Oh, and I'm stuck. So we're gonna have to break that. Uh, we'll place down this. We'll place down this. We'll place down this. And we'll place down this. So there we go. I have to break that. Again, I have to break it. There we go. Uh, so yeah, now we can break that. Well, not break it, but like, delete that all. Uh, go over here. Once again, drive the, drive the train. All right, we're good. We have it all. All right, so now, stop that and move forward. Now, I'm not actually sure what happens when you when like this goes too far but it probably explodes that's my guess there's that train
No! Is he dead? I can't see him. He's probably dead. Gauges don't actually work, but that's okay. Oh dang it. The end of the road railroad is here. But yeah. So I'm gonna quickly rush back. Oh dear, I'm losing it. It's too late. It's too late. The smoke is black. Oh no. It's too late. It's too late. We've lost it. Please don't blow up next to the train. You're gonna blow up. Come on, I've gotta find him. I think it's too late. I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to drive him back. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to drive him back. Well, here's the train. Anyways, yeah, let's head back. Now, also, there's hand cars. There's so many different trains. But, uh, let's take the hand car back. Anyways, let's not take the hand car back because it's too slow. Um, last but not least is this train. It's right up ahead. You can see its little steam smoke thing exhaust. That's what I'm looking for. Right here. Now I'll go over some of the different tracks um, after I drive this to the end of the little railroad. Ha! Let's still use it. Um, yeah, so like I said, there's multiple different types of tracks. I don't know what these are. Uh, I've never actually used them. Uh, yeah, let's use the track blueprints over here. These are if you're building your training survival, I guess. But uh, yeah, so over here you can see there's straight crossing. So crossing like is like this. Like if you're having two tracks intersect each other, or if you wanted, you could just go. Uh, two straights like this, or like this, etc. Um, then you have slopes, so you'll need a uh, rail bed fill Let's go with birch wood. Let's go. A 30 block long. So, yeah, as you can see here, I forgot you will need a real bed to make it look better. So, let's go with gravel. So, there you go. That's this is uh, your slope for your train to go up. Um, then there is turn, so like you get a turn, you can get a turn over 30 blocks, etc. 
so on and so forth. Then there's a switch. So if you wanted to, you could use a switch track type thing. Um, there's turntables. Which you can see here. And then there is custom curve. Which you will need a golden spike for. Forget how to use it. Oh yeah, we need to... Uh... Hmm. Let's see her. I forget. Okay. Well, if you guys are no figure this out, uh, you need to use it. You need to use a blueprint, the blueprints for the tracks, not the actual tracks, and then, and then, and then, uh, I also forget how to do that. This is an older version, that's why. And that's why I can't do it. No. Um and yeah, that's kind of all I have to show for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. And I will see you all later. Goodbye.